forever getting parking tickets. Brake lights have just been smashed. Welcome to Serbia. King in it. Rule your own world. On the Mongol Rally! Mm -hmm. no. Morning lads, woke up in this hostel today. Not too shabby actually. So we're in Budapest, where are we going today? It's not as much of a crackdown as we thought it was going to be. Where are we going today? Today, um, maybe One word. head to Serbia. Cheers. We got a ticket last night. And we didn't put any time on the car this morning. Oh, we got another ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Three tickets in two days. That's not too bad. Forever getting parking tickets. Starving you. We've had some breakfast. We went to a top little vegan spot. We got loads of food. It was we got only way like too much. <laughs> so much that we got like four takeaway pots. Uh, today we're on a mission to Serbia. <laughs> Stopped off for a little stretch and some food. I thought we were in Serbia, but we're still hungry. Oh, this has taken that long. But we're on one one road, which is 100 miles. Jess is doing the drive. How many miles have we done? Total. So far? Since we left Bari, we've done 2,200 miles. Wow. Plan is to get somewhere outside of, what's the capital? Belgrade or Belgrad? Belgrade in Serbia and find like a river or a lake and camp next to it. Camping again? Yeah, buddy. Susan ain't happy. But Susan's bound to have a friend in the morning, that's all I'm saying. Tensions were running a little bit high this morning. So we haven't argued yet as a, as a group, but it was kicking off this morning. A couple of bins being kicked. It's gonna happen. We've been trapped in the car for, what is this now, day five? Yeah. So day five, it's going right though. So I have no biggie. Nothing drastic's happened yet, so when it does, it's going to be a real test, I think. Okay, I think we're we're crossing our first border crossing. First? Well, well, we've been going through them all, being like, are we in like Bulgaria yet? Have we been to Bulgaria? No. No. Because <laughs> there hasn't it actually says, been like oh, a stop, stop where you stop order. for the border crossing. You you just go through and you're there. Maybe so over yeah, over. get your passports out, lads. Driven 250 miles and we're just outside of Belgrade in Serbia. Found apparently this is the best campsite in Eastern Europe. Is it? That's what Jess says anyway. Oh. Can't <laughs> be that true. But yeah, so we're just setting up camp now. Pop up tents for the win. Literally just throw them in the air and they're like, done. Camp set. This is the best campsite ever. I don't even know his name, but he's so beautiful. Nice trousers. Thanks very much. Bought them yesterday for £2.50. Look at it! What is it? It's a caterpillar, I swear. Shut God. up. Just touch Weird, it ever yeah. so slightly. I've never seen yeah! that. Yeah! <laughs> don't poke him, man. Thoughts on Serbia so far then? I love it, Craig. What about driving through? I'm not even annoyed that we're camping because we just saw those cows and this made my life. It's just so like driving through is like going back in time a little bit mm. like there's all really retro shops and buildings and things are all a bit like half done and you know there's signs hanging off and it's just a bit old school isn't it mm. but i think it's really lines, cool yeah because yeah, there's there's brilliant faces here like you know the old ladies that sit outside with a pot of tea and yeah it's just so different to what we used to isn't it mm. i love i love it
Craig's out droning. I've just taken accidentally 75 quid out of the ATM because he didn't know the, the currency exchange rate. So we've got loads of money now. So I've just clocked a little fashion Easter shop. We're gonna have to see what they got. Sadia, what are you saying for prom dresses? It doesn't it doesn't look good. It, does, it looks cheap, but it doesn't look good. It's a little hula hoop, everyone needs one of them for a road trip. Love there, love there. Okay, okay. What have we got going on? How much for the skates? Uh, top. 3,500. 29 euros. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He wouldn't let me film in there, would he? As soon as they clock the camera, they're just like, no, no filming. I'm like, I'm just trying to do my YouTube, babes. Do you know what I mean? Like, I ain't trying to clock you for no like black market business. I don't care where you got your stock from. They're nice skates though. 30 euros. It's like your typical road. You've got your shop here with your dresses and your skates in it. This is a hairdresser's and then that's your kebab shop. Really? What else do you need? Ooh. Morning! You know how like when we get a hotel room and it looks like we've just put a little grenade in a bag and it's just exploded everywhere. Organised chaos, yeah. Now we've like expanded and now we just do it at campsites. So we've got more room to spread all of our crap. Awesome. So this is the situation. Awesome. Um, not too bad, actually. I mean, <laughs> we couldn't be spread any further, really, could we? So it takes like five seconds to just pop everything up and put it out. And about 25 minutes to get it all back down together, so. Did you sleep right last night? Ah, uh, you know, can anyone really sleep like a log when they're camping, ironically? I don't think so, Craig. Because it's so warm today and the sun's shining, the condensation didn't drip on our face. I think it was like evaporated because of the sun. So that's one good point. What's the plan today then? I haven't got a clue. I took it in a bit more than me. So Tram just come and smashed our back lights, but we were parked over the tram. Yeah, it's not good. I was lucky though, it was only that one. We got a whole tram of people just staring. It's okay. It's okay? It's okay, yeah. What <laughs> was another tram coming? Is that tech I took it in a bit more mate? What have you found? Hey, it's a shop. This is exactly what we need. Yeah mate. About 50 yards away. Andy. Will decided to park it like half on the tram track. <laughs> Don't get a new light then, shall we? Amy's got on one of them. Amy's in the clinic and all the drama's happened while she's been in there. So she's going to be kicking bins. Stay, okay, yeah. Mr. Togolf, stay. Okay, you don't sleep with Togolf. They don't have the lights, but they got some uh, coolant which we're running out of. So happy days. Is it the tram? Nice. Into it. This makes me feel like it was the tram's fault. The brakes gone, away. Kicking off in Serbia. <gasps> you missed all the drama, mate. I missed it. Oh. <laughs> so we've made it to Belgrade. So we found a little market, and I'm just trying to figure out with all the stuff that's in it. You know, a good feel of Serbia. How do you feel? I'm not sure yet, it's hard to tell. All we've experienced is a tram smashing the car <laughs> and a lot of beeping and traffic. But... Yeah, we have these little traditional things. What do you, what do you put in this? Wine? Uh, What's that? But alcohol, like oh, right. any, any kind of alcohol. Homemade alcohol. Right? You, you take it to a party. You just pop it on and take it to a party. Traditional Serbian. That's quite cool, I quite like that. But I ain't got no parties to go to. <laughs> Will you invite me to a party, Craig? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Lovely! This is, I think it's made of like really specialised tin. Love it. So I can have a green wrist by yeah. the end. But today I'm going to look really nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you showing me? You wanted one of these, After, didn't you? Uh, like a soldier's hat, the army. Come on, try that. Serbian army. Fuck, that's cool. How ah, that get, how much you? are they? Yeah? <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, the army. 
<laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> yeah, you look beautiful. Should I take a picture of you? Yeah, it's the thing. I'm just going to pretend so that we're part of this tour. I'm not sure if I have to pay for it or what. It's in English, so um, let's see what we can learn. What are you doing? I'm part of this tour. I'm just, I'm just looking at a bush. Is it? Not listening? Nah. Not listening at all? No, I mean, I pay for a tour if I was going to do one. I think we found the birthplace of Andre 1000 BC. something flapping you know flashing the lights next to our car i hope it's not tow truck next time on king in it i'm gonna go move on we still haven't found will <laughs> oh, and we don't know where we're going or what we're doing but it's brilliant trying to find some wild camping amy's busting for the toilet and it's getting dark and there's bears everywhere